Hello, good day. We will present you what are the spherical and cylindrical coordinate submitted by Colin Medina Shadisoe, De La Rosa Castañeda, Jose Ángel, García Gómez, María Fernanda, and Lagunas Matus, Diego Fernando. Definition. The spherical coordinates constitute another generalization of the polar coordinates of the plane. Based on the rotation around an axis, its definition is as follows. The polar coordinate theta angle uh, the position vector shapes with the set. The actitimodal coordinate bar p angle that the projection on the x, y plane for the x. The spherical coordination give use the location of points in space by two angles and distance as showing the figures. The first coordinate P is the distance for point D origin. So on the contrary to R, no it never negative. The second coordinate is the angle that what do is do it with axis set. Example, example on spherical coordinates. To ground to a point that is, is represent an spherical coordinate, we can start by locating it with respect to its distance for the Earth region and this angle with respect to x axis. Then we locate it with respect to the angle that from for the set axis. The diagram represents the point. Three, p about three, p about four. We can see that the angle is measured for, um, from the positive set axis. Uh, this angle was from zero to P. On the another hand, the angle is not restrictive. This means that we actually have several wise to represent a point and spherical coordinates. This is because if we add or subtract to P or multiplicate of to P, we get an equivalent angle. For example, angles P about three, four P about three, two P about three are equivalent. To, to convert from spherical to rectangular coordinates, we will use this example that tell you to draw the point with the spherical coordinates 8,p about 3, p about 6 and express its location in rectangular coordinates the solution we will use will be to use the conversation equations between spherical and rectangular coordinates, <laughs> which tell use that x is equal 
to row sign of phi cosine the angle that this is equal to a sine to p about three of six cosine p about three giving x as a result to for why the equation says that y is equal to rho sine of phi sine of the angle which when substituted which the spherical coordinates this is equal to x sine of p about six sine of p about three giving y as result to root of three and calculate z the equation says that z is equal to rho cosine of phi which when substituting the spherical coordinates in the equations is equal to a cosine of p about six which results in four root of three this message shows the projections of the point in the x plane which is four units from the origin the line that goes from the origin to the projections on the point forms an angle and p over three with the positive x axis the point lines for roots of three units on the x y plane there the result of going from spherical coordinates a point p about three point p about six to rectangular coordinates is the result two point two root of three point four root of three Now, my partner Angel and I will talk about the cylindrical coordinates. The cylindrical coordinates constitute a generalization of the polar coordinates of the plane, best to extending them to a space parallel to align the C axis perpendicular to the plane xy. As follows, the radical coordinate is the distance from the point P to the C axis. The azimuth coordinate is the angle that the projection is the position vector on the plane xy form with the x axis. The vertical coordinate C is the distance to the x y plane. The ranges of the variations of the tense coordinates are R in zero quad uh, C the angle can also vary in the interval 0 0.2 p. When we expanding the traditional system 
of two-dimensional Cartesian coordinates to treat the symbol, add a new axis to model to your dimensions. Starting with the polar coordinates, we can follow the same process to create a new three-dimensional coordinate system. Called a cylindrical coordinate systems, in this way, cylindrical coordinates provide a natural extension of three-dimensional polar coordinate coordinates. The use of cylindrical coordinates is common in fields as such as physics. Physics to the study electric changers and capacitors use it to store these changes have discovered that the system sometimes have a cylindrical symmetry. These systems have complicated modeling equations in the Cartesian coordinate system, which makes them difficult to describe and analyze. Equations cut over often be expressed in simpler terms using cylindrical coordinate. For example, to plot a cylindrical coordinate, the first thing we have to, to do uh, is allow the three uh, dimensional axis, x, y, z. <clears throat> On the plan, uh, is a background. Uh, the next step uh, is locate the values corresponding uh, to x, y, is set uh, in the polar coordinates. Uh, it means uh, that from the beginning we are going to a measure uh, a radius of the pair with an angle uh, forty-five degrees. Uh, next, please. Diego. Nice. Now the next uh, thing is to draw the point uh, set. That is facing upwards with a distance of one. Um, it can be a confusion uh, as they seem that the point set uh, is on the Y axis, uh, but they can be uh, avoided by following the order uh, from the point or origin. Uh, so that so that it uh, can be solution uh, in a simpler way we can uh, really on prism uh, assured in the image. Next, please, still. Uh, conversion between cylindrical and Cartesian coordinates. Uh, the rectangular coordinate uh, x, y, z, uh, and the cylindrical coordinate uh, r, angle, and z uh, of a point are related as follows. Uh, this equation added the convert for cylindrical coordinate uh, to the rectangular coordinate. Uh, x uh, is uh, r, cos, and, uh, and y. Uh, is air sin angle uh, set uh, is the equation are <clears throat> used the conformer uh, from rectangular coordinates uh, to cylindrical coordinates uh, r2 is uh, x2 uh, mass <laughs> uh, y2 uh, tan uh, angle is uh, y and x uh, is set is set <laughs> nice thank you and this is has been a brief explication and some examples about that about what cylindrical and spherical coordinates are in order to facilitate the understanding 
of the subject. Thank you for your attention. Uh, <laughs> we hope that the video will help you. Bye. <laughs>